welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another empties video. I haven't done one in quite some time and I've accumulated quite a bit of empties. I'm trying to get rid of things like expired makeup, things I've used up. There's Merlin over there for all of you guys who don't know Merlin. Yeah. And we also have a special guest today whose name is Meatball. So if you guys see her pop up, her name's Meatball. And it's a lot, so if you've got time, you know, grab a coffee or a tea or a kombucha because we're gonna be here for some quite some time. So I'm gonna start with foundation. And the first, the first thing that I wanna talk about is the stick cream foundation from All Natural Cosmetics. Hands down, one of my favorite products, one of my favorite foundations. But here's the thing, I have not actually used this foundation for all over, like for the purpose of a foundation. Since it's a stick foundation, I use it for contour. The shade Punalu is for deep, dark complexion. However, it's too dark for me to use all over. I used it up all the way. It's gone. It is amazing, guys. It is so creamy. It blends super well. It's one of those products that if you have it laying on the skin for a while and then you go back to it with a damp beauty blender or whatever makeup sponge of your choice, it's not going to have that like dry, crusty type of thing going on. It's very hydrating, but at the same time, not oily. So I think that they've done a good job with this. Unfortunately, um, I can't repurchase this because On Natural Cosmetics does, not, does no longer carry this foundation. However, they have a new foundation that they formulated. On Natural Cosmetics has come out with a new line of cream stick foundations, but I honestly think that they may be very similar in you know, um, formula. If you've tried it out, please let me know because I haven't tried it out yet. I want to try out, I think, the shade Kali and Punalu again for contour, so I may be um, talking about that in later videos. But from what I can say is that All Natural Cosmetics does formulate very high quality, full coverage products that do, they do the job. They cover dark spots, acne, and I like to use more full coverage products for my contour. I like to use a stick foundation like this and then go in with a contour powder just because my skin is a little bit more problematic in this area, so full coverage does cover it. Sheer kind of um, can exaggerate things like dark marks and, and scarring and things. So this is definitely a ride or die product. This is definitely a holy grail product and I would repurchase time and time again. In fact, that's why I'm going to try out the new foundations that they've come up with. And I also want to try their concealers. Now, you guys have heard me talk about this foundation time and time again. There's a little bit of product in here, but I've had this product for over a year and I'm pretty sure that it's expired because I'm starting to see a difference and a change within the consistency of the way that it pumps out onto my hand before I apply it. Because this foundation is very dewy and oily and it does have that kind of luminous effect that my oily skin just cannot handle during the summer months. Um, during the winter when it's a little bit cooler out and there's less direct sunlight, there's less beaming heat. I did love this product, but now I don't think that I would use this as much and like I said, it is expired because I've seen a difference in the consistency of the product. But if you have dry skin, here's the thing. I highly suggest this to you because it, it will make you look very luminous, very dewy, very healthy, very glowy. And that's all I can say about that. So let's move on to the next foundation. So the next foundation I'm gonna be talking about is going to be Ilia's Vivid Foundation. Now I love this foundation from Ilia. This also is a product that I have used up and I no longer have any more left in the bottle. This is a foundation that I have a lot of pros and cons on, so I'm going to talk about them now. I love this foundation for all day wear, like in the daytime if I'm running errands. I don't really like it for camera because it does give like a strange um, kind of um, gray overcast. So I'll be honest with you guys, if you're going to be taking pictures and you are of a darker complexion, this is not a good option for you. Go with a cream that doesn't have any light reflecting um, ingredients. There's some type of ingredient in this that is making it reflect something else. That's why I like it for the daytime because it's not as visible like in the sunlight, but the camera picks it up. So this is a good product for an everyday wear foundation for work, for school, for on the go, for travel, but not for photography. It gives you that luminous glow, it hydrates the skin, however, it doesn't make you look very oily, it blends, it makes it look like no makeup makeup type of foundation type of vibe. Love it, just don't like it for camera. 
The next foundation is Ficlo Beauty's Vita Active Foundation. You guys know me, you know this is my ride or die daytime foundation. It's like the BB cream for a girl who needs full coverage. It's like a step down from full coverage. It's like medium to buildable and it looks very natural. A lot of you have told me that after I've talked about this foundation in the review that I did on it, you guys decided to pick it up and loved it. And the awesome thing about this foundation is that it has hyperpigmentation fighting ingredients. It's gonna lighten things like dark spots, hyperpigmentation, uneven skin tone, all while covering it. So this is just a really good option if you need a little bit more coverage but you are not a BB cream girl. Like me, I hate CC creams, I hate BB creams, I will never be, like I like more coverage. So. That's why I loved this product. The next product that I'm going to be talking about is in fact a BB cream and it's from Biclo Beauty and it is their Beauty Balm. I did not use this up. I'm in the shade BB3. It expired on 717, so it expired this month. The shade on this is amazing. It doesn't have any kind of white overcast or flashback or anything like that in photography. I think the product has been discontinued or at least um, they have it sold out so on the site. It's not there anymore. I'm not too sure I mean the Vita active foundation is so amazing that it's good really for any skin type I can see why they felt the need to not have both of them because you can wear it very light coverage You can also wear the Vita active foundation as more full coverage So I see why they decided to just go with that for the moment. Um, maybe they might bring the beauty balm back but um, if I had to choose between the two the Vita active foundation Definitely. This one um, is for that girl who likes a BB cream, who likes a very light coverage, natural, wants the skin to shine through, but I'm not that girl. So a product like this doesn't necessarily work for me. So I'm gonna move on to the next product, which is from Plain Jane Beauty. You know guys, I rave about this all the time. It is my favorite translucent powder. This is the Plain Jane Beauty translucent powder. It's a sheer powder. I love it. It's my Holy Grail translucent powder. What I love about it is it doesn't change the color of my foundation. It works well with everything that I use it with. I can bake with it, I can use it to set. It's a very, very good setting powder. I love this product a lot. Staying on the topic of makeup, I've got a ton of mascaras in here, so we're gonna talk about that right now. I'm gonna start with the Pixie by Petra Long Lash Mascara because out of all the mascaras, this one is my favorite. I feel like this works with my type of lash. I have very like sparse, short lashes and this lengthens. I don't really need a lot of volume. I prefer a subtle amount of volume, um, but I like to focus a little bit more on length. This does that for me. And this is the Tardiest Mascara. Heart is a little bit controversial in the green beauty space, but um, in the past, when I couldn't find things in my shade range, I would run to Tarte. When I couldn't find products that had high performance that I required, I ran to Tarte. So I'm gonna be honest and transparent with you guys. I wanna be real on my channel. I don't wanna come across as perfect or like I always use things that rank zero and are the cleanest and the highest of quality because I don't always do that. And this product is from Tarte and I actually really liked it. I don't use a lot of Tarte products, but this is a Tarte product that I have in here. I wouldn't repurchase it because I found cleaner mascaras that I enjoy more, like the Well People Expressionist Mascara, which I love, the 100% Pure Mascara. But it is a really good mascara. So moving on in mascaras, I have the Height Beauty Mascara. I didn't really like this mascara. You guys know I love the Height Beauty Concealer. I love the Duet Perfecting Concealer. I love their eyeliners. I love a lot of products from Height Beauty, but this I think is for someone with long lashes that needs volume. I needed lengthening and this kind of just gave me volume. What I can say about this product is it did not um, clump on me and it did not run or smudge, which was a plus. So if you're looking for something like that, you might wanna try this out. And then I have the Sappho Organics Mascara. Now this brand is clean and vegan. They're an awesome brand, they've just, um, switched their whole line out and changed the formulas. So this product that I'm talking about is no longer available. And to be honest with you guys, I didn't like it and I'm very interested to try out um, the new Sapphire Organics products, but this mascara I did not like. I don't think it gave me much volume or length, to be honest with you. And we have the Plain Jane Beauty Just Mascara. This mascara is a really good natural daytime mascara. But for me, I like a little bit more of a really lengthening. I, I'm, I'm not really a fan of the natural lash. So for me, 
I didn't really like this product, but if you just, like the name says, just mascara, just something that is quick and easy, it doesn't smudge, it doesn't clump. This is a perfect mascara if you're on the go, pop it in your makeup bag, have it in your capsule collection. It just didn't work for me. I only have one product in here for lipstick because I'm not very adventurous with the colors of lipstick that I use which is why it makes perfect sense that this is in here. I have only used it once and I just don't like the product and I don't wanna have it in my capsule collection if I'm not gonna use it. This is a lipstick from Fit Glow Beauty. Love their lipsticks. Their lipsticks are creamy, pigmented, amazing. But this is in the color Spark. I am not a fan of bright colors. I love mauves and dark dusty rose pinks nudes and very dark colors like browns and reds and like kind of like vampy colors but I don't like bright colors it's just not my style and not my taste so I'm gonna have to part with this because I think this is for a different type of girl and a different type of personality but now we can move on to skincare and you guys know I love my skincare so let's move on so I've got two samples here and they're both from old Petty Vore boxes. You guys know I love Petty Vore. So the first product that I loved from my subscription boxes over the last couple of months in skincare was the Little Barn Apothecary Blue Euro and Geranium Cleansing Oil. This cleansing oil came through. I loved it. I kept it in my medicine cabinet and I used it every night until I used it up. I now have my own mix of oils that I use to cleanse my makeup off and I might talk about that more. This one is a really good luxury product. If you wanna invest in a cleansing oil, this is a good one to try out. I really enjoyed it. So this really does cater to that congested, problematic skin type that needs that extra clean and needs ingredients that are gonna treat the clogging of the pores that wearing makeup all day can do. You guys know it's a struggle if you have oily skin. The next product which I used with the cleansing oil was the Shimanuti, I think it's pronounced, Activated Charcoal Cleanser. I loved this cleanser. This cleanser was amazing. It made my skin feel very clean but did not make it feel dried out. I don't want my dry areas to feel tight. I want to feel like that soft, youthful skin, but also have that clean feeling. And this definitely did that for me. So this is the Perlis Blue Lotus 4-in-1 Cleansing Milk. I got this product in a gift bag. I really liked this product. I kept it in my shower, and I used it to cleanse off my makeup while I was in the shower, and it did a good job. However, I prefer um, using a cleansing oil over a cleansing milk. Ooh, this is a good one. So this is the Uni Active Calm Face Serum. So this line from Uni is formulated for very active people. It's, I think the concept is thinking of yogis and people who are gonna be using these products after the gym, on the go girls. I used this product a long time ago. I've used it up now. And this product calms down any kind of inflammation, redness, breakouts. And something that was really unique about this serum that I haven't experienced with any serum is that it brought my breakouts to the surface faster and got rid of them. So if I'd have a pimple growing, I'd put this serum on, the pimple would kind of come out more and then the next night be gone. I think that was really cool about this because it's really good for somebody who has congested skin and bringing those impurities out. Thoroughly enjoyed it. So I've got two Derma E products here. I've got the Purifying Toner Mist, which I used this mist a lot. This is not my first time trying this. It's for normal and oily skin. I used to use this a lot when I was a little bit more acne prone. It kind of helps with the acne fighting if you use it in collaboration with what I have here, which is the Purifying 2-in-1 Charcoal Mask. These two together are acne fighting machines and they're affordable. You can get them at Ulta. It's one of those brands that have cleaner ingredients, healthy ingredients that you can find anywhere. They're easily accessible. If you run out, you just run to your local Ulta. I think they have them at Target. Um, they're one of those brands that I love because of that. You can get them at Whole Foods. I don't like the toner mist as much as I used to when I was younger, when I was a little bit more acne prone. Now in my cleansing routine, I like to just add a little bit of hydration in with something a little bit more like rose water, something gentle like that, because now my skin doesn't really need as much acne fighting ingredients as it does just putting the hydration back after I've cleansed. I loved the charcoal mask. The charcoal mask is awesome and it's a little gritty, so it gives you that exfoliation. So this helps a lot with just unclogging your pores and helping fade dark spots. You guys know I love rose water. 
and I use rose water almost every day for a bunch of different things. And this is one of my favorite rose waters. It's the Coco Kind Organic Rose Water Facial Toner. This is organic. Not all rose waters are organic. The only ingredient that you've got here is rose water. Not fragrance, not red number three, not something to make it look pretty and pink. You know, we don't need all of that. It's awesome as a setting spray. It is awesome as just a light, lightweight toner. Um, to refresh your skin throughout the day. It's good for all skin types and I absolutely love this. Next we have this moisturizer. It's a hyaluronic moisturizer from Provise. For my face, it's just a little bit too lightweight. Um, I would use this on somebody who is a little bit more oily than me, maybe. I still like that kind of, um, I like oils and, and, and a little bit more heavy moisturizer. So I didn't really enjoy this product, so I'm probably going to give this to someone because it is kind of full to the top. Ooh, I've got some tea tree products in here. So the next product that I have in here is a tea tree oil. This is just 100% tea tree from Whole Foods. I use this for a bunch of different things. I use this for cleaning. I use this for acne spot treatments. I use it for cleaning mostly. I love using it on the floors. It wards away any kind of bugs like spiders or roaches or anything like that. So that's a good tip. I like to make my own DIY cleaning products because it's a little bit more easy and simple and it keeps my kitchen streamlined, so I like to do that. And then from the brand We Love Eyes, we have a tea tree oil make, ooh, I dropped it. <laughs> we have a tea tree oil makeup remover. I have used this before and I absolutely love it. It takes away everything like waterproof makeup, eyeliner, eyelash glue, it gets it all off. And I love the fact that it's tea tree oil because I in the past have gotten, um, what's it called, a sty. I feel like this prevents that from happening. You know, just in case it's very antibacterial, in case you have a dirty makeup brush, it just wards off any unwanted bacteria. Ooh, I have a mask in here. One of my favorite masks whenever I go. I don't know why I just don't buy the full size of this because I love it. This is from... Angelou Naturals and it's their instant brightening face mask. This is the pumpkin and honey face mask. If you have hyperpigmentation, you know that being out in the sun can make it worse because it can darken your hyperpigmentation. Um, and this helps with kind of fading it to what it was before, before you got excessive sun exposure. So it helps with just making your skin look even all over. And we have another oil in here. This is a lavender essential oil from Aura Cassia. I use this in my diffuser that is next to my bed to keep me calm and that's all I use it for and I love it and I actually need to repurchase it. I'm thinking about buying the blends that they have or trying out a new essential oils brand but I do need some suggestions so let me know in the comments below the brands that you guys love because I'm not too sure. We can move on to body care guys. So I have a sunscreen here and this is from the brand Kula and this is SPF 50. It doesn't give you that gray or purple cast. So I had a bad experience, guys. I used a sunscreen, it was a natural sunscreen, and it made me look purple. This does not do that. I feel like if you are of a darker complexion, medium to deep complexion, you can have that issue with sun care products making you have more of a kind of ghostly appearance. And this doesn't do that, it's really good. Now we have from Forgotten Essentials. This is their Heavenly Heaven Scent Body Cream. I've really loved this body cream. I've had it for a while and I've had it sitting in this empties bin for a while because I wanted to talk about it because they are a small business and they formulated a really great product here. It's super moisturizing. I like to use this product on the areas of my skin that get a little drier like my elbows, my knees, my feet after I get out of the shower. It was very moisturizing. I love products that have shea in the winter time because my skin can get a bit drier and I really enjoyed that. The only thing about it that I did not enjoy was that the products came liquefied and I had to stick it in the freezer. So that's something that you want to keep in mind. It may liquefy, it's not a big deal. It doesn't make the product work better or less. You just have to keep in mind that some green beauty products have to be kept in the fridge but that does not take away from the fact that this is an amazing product. So the next product I'm gonna be talking about is a shower gel. I have been trying this shower gel out for a long time to make sure that it didn't give me any bad reactions or you know, just to see how I felt about it, how multi-purpose it was, if in fact I could use it as a face and body wash. And yes, I thoroughly enjoyed doing that. So this is from the brand Dr. Jacobs Naturals. They are an all natural castile liquid soap and they say that you can use it as a face and a body wash and it's for all skin types. I really, really loved this product. My favorite is the rose. 
The scent is heavenly. These two scents are awesome. I highly suggest it. I liked using the rose on my face. However, I didn't like using the almond honey on my face. I just, I don't know. I just, maybe it's a mental thing where I associate rose with skincare and I facial skincare and maybe I just associate almond with body. It might be something like that. It was gentle and lightweight, non-drying. A lot of castle soaps that I've used in the past have been a little bit more on the drying side so I don't use them on my body. I like to use them for cleaning purposes and like just a multi-purpose soap that I keep around the house. But this product is more for the body in my opinion and I think that that's why they've placed that on their packaging. Rose is my favorite. I want to say that Almond Honey is my second favorite. It says you can use it as a shampoo. I did not use it as a shampoo, so I can't really speak on that. I currently have the peppermint one in my shower, so I will put that to the test because that might be really good for just kind of more of an invigorating, you know, scalp stimulating growth type of type of vibe. I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts. And then we have as a shaving lather. I used it as a shaving lather and it's really nice. It foams up. It protects the skin, gives you that lather feeling, and I love that. So these were awesome. I highly suggest them. They're a brand that is based in Brooklyn, I believe, and they're super awesome. So I suggest trying them out because as you guys see, if I can go through two bottles of something and let you guys know, that means they're awesome. Now we have the last product in here, which is from the brand Lather, and this is the Mint Time Cream Rinse. And it's a lightweight detangler for all hair types. And it says the mint is in here for awakening, so scalp stimulation, things like that, hair growth, and the time as well. This is a very lightweight moisturizer. I feel like when I first started to notice the name Cream Rinse, I was like, what does this mean and how is it different from a conditioner? It's just a little bit more lightweight and it's very reminiscent of a detangler um, leave-in type of consistency. Like it's a little bit more lightweight. But I still enjoyed this because it did give my hair the amount of hydration it needed before I blow dried it. I don't like very heavy conditioners when I know I'm going to blow dry my hair because it can weigh it down and make it look a little bit oily so I like to use a little bit lighter weight products. But I did enjoy the fact that it was lightweight and it did give my hair a lot of hydration and it's paraben free. I don't think that I would repurchase just because I like to use the same shampoo and conditioner and I wasn't a fan of the shampoo, I still have it. But this cream rinse was really good. I used it up completely and now it's time to toss it, but I really enjoyed the time that I had it in my shower. So those are all of the products that I emptied and used up and all kinds of stuff that I'm gonna get be getting rid of. And we're done. I just showed you guys everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. Thanks for stopping by again. I hope that this video helped you maybe find a product that you've been wanting to try, get you know more of a genuine opinion on it, or stop you from buying a product that may not work for you because you're oily like I am. Bunch of different reasons why I make these videos. But I just want to thank you guys so much for watching and stopping by my channel. Bye guys.